But we go first this morning to Tokyo, where CBS's Lucy Kraft has the latest on that region, devastated in March by an earthquake and tsunami. Lucy, good morning. Good morning. Well, you know, May was supposed to be the month when the government finished building roughly half of the temporary homes needed for disaster victims. There's still about 100,000 people living in evacuation centers who need these prefab homes. But today the government conceded that it won't be building those approximately 30,000 homes on time. And one of the biggest barriers is that most of the tsunami's aftermath has yet to be cleared. <laughs> Months after the catastrophe, and workers have scarcely made a dent in the debris mountains that once were homes, shops, cars, and belongings. Fishing towns laid waste, like this one, Kisanuma, are literally choking in their own debris. I was stunned when I saw the debris. How did this happen so fast? What will we do now? All of us are in shock. The volume of garbage is so vast, it's equivalent to 23 years' worth of household and commercial waste. Shigeru Sugawara, mayor of the town of Kesanuma, says rebuilding right now is all but at a standstill. The debris contains steel, paper and wood, and electrical appliances. It cannot just be moved aside. It has to be separated into burnables, recyclables, and landfill. This will take three years, but we cannot move ahead with the recovery until it's cleaned up first. Trucking two million tons of debris away is easy, but where to put it all? For Japan's tiny sea towns, wedged onto narrow, mountainous strips of coastline, space is at a premium. Unlike towns with lots of wide open space, we don't have enough room for garbage dumps. So we have to crowd everything into a few locations, which causes traffic jams and slows the whole process down. So the 70,000 residents of Kesanuma have hunkered down for a long, hard road ahead. It'll be four to five years before this port starts to take shape, says this fishing industry official. Ten years before we're back to where we were. You know, temperatures are rising right now, and Japan is going into the rainy season, and the debris is becoming a public hygiene menace. Kesanuma is a port town. A lot of its food processing plants were destroyed in the tsunami, and now residents say the stench of rotting fish is all but unbearable. And now another concern is that this, all this debris, this hazardous debris, could turn out to generate foodborne illnesses. Back to you. All right, Lucy Kraft in Tokyo. Lucy, thank you very much.